Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. Hi everyone, it's Kai and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on Cruella de Vil, the villain of Disney's 101 Dalmatians. Cruella's makeup, you know, is more simple, green eyes, red lips. It's really more about the hair and costume for this character. But to make our lives more interesting and to make this a little more unique, I added some little zombie elements to her look so that she's a little more dark and twisted, which we love around here. Let's get started. Oh my god, guys, I have to tell you, I got a new mirror finally. It's one of those ones that like plugs into the wall and it has like a little ring light on it and it's so big I can just sit it on the table and I don't have to like hold it up to my face. I am smelling that AdSense money now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I started out after gluing down my eyebrows and sideburns. I went in with um, a white highlight and brought out my brow bows. Cruella de Vil has super arched brows. I mean, I kind of always do high arch Disney villain looking brows anyway, but if you don't, now is definitely the time to try them out. It's really fun. You kind of look perpetually unimpressed and unapproachable, but that's the look I go for 24-7. And then you're going to cover the face with foundation as usual, doing my cream contour and my cream highlight, and then setting it with powder and going in with more powder contours. For the nose contour, I do essentially the same thing, just on a smaller scale. I've been liking to use cream paints on my nose to do a cream contour first, just because I can find I always blend them easier, whereas powders sometimes look way too muddy, too fast, or they just look patchy. So I contour and highlight with a dark foundation and like a synthetic paddle brush, and then I set it with powder and just reinforce that contour with brown powder and a powder brush. The brush choice here is crucial in making the nose look really thin and pinched. You can't let the color take up too much space, it has to be really tight and thin. So experiment with different brushes here. I um, have discovered that using an eyeshadow brush works best for me. It's the kind of flat eyeshadow brush that you use to pack on color, I just use the edge of it. For this look more than normal, I want to do some extreme contouring and highlighting. We want to make the face look more hollowed out, so I'm actually taking some of that powder contour down towards my chin to give the appearance that my cheeks are being really sucked in and you can really see that bone structure. If you go too far with this, it can start to look like facial hair, so just be warned, um, unlike some other queens, I am not participating in Movember. I'm using Max Shivering White, which is just their Studio Fix powder, but it's from their Pro line, so it's white. You can use any white eyeshadow in place of this, or just a super, super light face powder. And I'm going to highlight the brow bone just to make it bright again, as well as under the eyes and my chin and jawline where I didn't contour, just to accentuate the contrast and draw the eyes to how dark those contours really are. We're gonna take a break and do the eyes now. I'm going in with brown eyeshadow first to deepen the eye socket. And then I went in with our main color of choice, which is gonna be green, blending that up into the brown that we laid down. I'm also taking the green on a bit of a smaller brush and I'm drawing little eye bags under my eyes in a U shape. I, I got this idea from Victoria Elizabeth Black, who's a queen on the next season of Dragula. Her makeup is amazing. She always does that like signature like eye bag under her eyes and I, I wanted to try it out. I'm taking some black eyeshadow and deepening the outer corner of our eye socket, drawing that out into a cat eye and of course blending this into the green. And then on that lower lash line, those eye bags, I'm taking a pencil brush, which is just a very small dome tipped brush and darkening the corners of the eye bags on each end. So um, on each of those ends, I'm flicking it in towards the center, but I don't actually have any black in that bottom center of the bag. It's only the darkest at the two ends. And then we also want to darken our lash line, so sweep the black back and forth so the entire lash line is blackened. And then I'm taking the brush that I had with green on it and adding more green here. 
um, but you'll notice there is a space in the bottom middle, like I said, where there's almost no color. And this is going to make our eye bags just look more 3D as if the skin there was kind of puffy. On top of the eyelid, I'm going to make some winged liner, just using liquid liner here. And then I'm going to blend the corner of this into my eyeshadow by stippling black on that outer corner of the lid, blending it out into the eye socket with a brush that's got more green on it. With more of that white face powder, I'm highlighting the last empty space of my eyes, so the inner corner of the lid above the eyeliner and below the green eyeshadow. And I'm also using this to highlight the blank space in the center of my eye bags to really bring it out. For the brows, you're going to want to use a bold black to make really dramatic, cartoony villain brows. I started off using liquid liner at first, but I eventually just moved on to using black water face paints since it was smoother and it was faster. Just make sure the brush is not too wet so it doesn't drip and ruin your makeup. Here I'm going in with black eyeshadow and also green eyeshadow and I'm going to slightly contour my face with this to match the color scheme of my eyes. I normally would never use these colors on my face but I really wanted to up the drama of the face because the eyes just look so striking. This is why I never just do all the face at once. I wait until the eyes are done, see how they're looking and then I'll like up the drama of the contour to balance it out. So I'm only really doing this on my temples and cheekbones. Next, I'm going to draw some like skeleton-like bones on the chest, highlighting my collarbones and the main muscles on the throat, I don't know what this is called, with white cream paint, and blending it out so that it's kind of faded and soft and smoky. Do this for a couple more rows under the collarbones to resemble your like rib cage, and you want to blend these out as well. And then I'm going to shade underneath them with brown eyeshadow to create some depth and make my chest just look really hollow and bony. So I'm just kind of outlining them in black just using an eyeshadow brush really softly on all the edges of the bones. I also use a little bit of green too to just match it to the face and the eyes and the color scheme that we've got going on. And I didn't show it here but what I also did was I set the white with more shivering white to both set it with powder but also really highlight it and bring it forward. Just going in now with more black and more green to contour, I just wanted it really dramatic today, okay? And I also even highlighted my face with more white. I really wanted to make myself look more rotted and pale and dead. On the lips, I used MAC's Night Moth pencil um, and then some red lipstick and then Night Moth over top again to make this dark, deep wine red color. Um, I didn't want to just go for a pure red. It would have looked too alive and too warm. I wanted something to match the deadness of the look. And then I just put in my eye contacts and before the false lashes went in, I blackened out my waterline using black, which is not something I do often. I always use white eyeliner as you know, but black eyeliner, it does make the eyes look a little more smoky, more striking, and it contrasts the white contacts to really draw your attention towards the eyes. This is the finished look you guys, I hope you liked it. The jacket I made myself, you can check out my fur jacket tutorial if you haven't already watched it if you want to find out how I made this. And the wig I also styled myself, but you can expect a video on it very, very soon. So subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you like these Disney villains. I've done Hades this month. I've also done Ursula. I've done a lot more actually in the past if you'd like scroll down my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on there as well. I'm always doing live streams and stories of behind the scenes stuff. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.